All right, you ready? I am. Are you ready? Awesome. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today, Thursday, June 1st, 2023. We got this Generac 20KW, whole house, automatic standby generator. We haven't been here in a, in a hot minute. Been here for, I don't know, haven't been here for about two years now. Okay. So we're gonna do annual service. You may be asking, Mikey Pipes, what are you doing with an HVAC drain cat, right? The drain cat by Diversitec, this is the, the uh, refillable um, nitrogen tank for, um, you know, flushing out condensate drain lines. But I am going to show you how I use the drain cat in servicing a Generac generator. Smash that thumbs up button and stick around because you're not going to want to miss how I use the drain cat. All right, Peter, first rule of thumb. What do we normally do when we first time we see something? Examine the situation. Exactly. We're using our eyes and we're doing a 360 overview of the entire installation, what's in front of us. We're going to see we have galvanized gas piping. Appears to be properly secured, um, except for right here, but I guess they weren't too smart. They could have put a 90 here, but used a flexible gas line connection and just kept that out of the way here. But this has been like that way for a very long time. There's our bonding wire for electrical grounding right there. Um, it appears to be on the base evenly without interruption. We have this key um, lock that's in the open position and that's also in the open position. Open up the door, take a look at our circuit breakers. This GFCI breaker, this is what we call the neighbor outlet, right? Let's say the power's out, your neighbor needs some power. Well, they get a max of 15 amps of power out of that GC. FCI breaker, All right? So if they want to like do some crypto mining, you know, boom, <laughs> it'll trip the breaker and you get a hundred amp with this 20 KW generator. Uh, green light is on, which means it'll run, but my yellow light, that means there's some kind of maintenance reminder to do. So breakers are on. Let's open up the top hood and we're going to see we got a little bit of dirt and dust on it. All good though. She is ready to run, but she is wanting to change oil and filter. So we're gonna put this into the off position. I'm gonna take the front cover off, all right? I'm just gonna do a, another, some more observations. We're gonna see we have some corrosion around the, uh, the battery right there. That's not looking too good. That is not looking too good at all, actually. Wow, a little bit of corrosion there, leaking from the battery. Not good at all. So we're probably gonna need a new battery. Let's see if this thing cranks over. What do you think, Peter? Think she's gonna crank over? She will. She sure did. All right, we're going to let this run for about a good five minutes. We're going to heat up the engine. It's going to be easier, easier for us to change the oil to the oil hot. All right, so we let the system run for a little bit. That don't sound too healthy, by the way. Compressor sounds like it's shot. Anyway, she is condensing now. See the condensation forming on the, the suction line? Beer can cold. Okay, so now we are going to start by taking the fuse out. It prevents accidental um, turning on. Let's say someone turns a switch on while we're doing service accidentally. Uh, I don't think it's going to run. So we're gonna check, take out the air filter, right? Okay, I don't think we have the right one, but it looks fairly clean. I don't have the right one here. I have that one, which is not as tall as that. But let's get our oil receptacle catcher ready. All right, take that, and we're gonna lay that on the floor. No, 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 tighten that. The top. Yeah, right from the top. Okay, because ideally this is going to go just like that into it. All right, so let's take off this little drain plug right there. Is she going to squirt out right away? Nope. She's not going to squirt. She's not a squirter. She will be a squirter soon, though, but not right now. Now, what I like to do, okay. Yeah. I like to put that conveniently right there and it should keep it down. Now, 
We're draining. You see how long that's going to take us for the drain? It's about almost two quarts of oil, right? So I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to remove the oil fill thingamajiggy. I've actually never tried it that way, but we'll try that way maybe later. Now, here comes the drain cat. Let's get the drain cat. So, right. here we go. I got the drain cat. I got the oil plug right there removed. I'm going to put my finger right over that and watch this. Go. Look at that. There goes all the oil. See that? Easy peasy. And I'm keeping the oil filter on for right now. Keeping that on right now. So we're getting rid of all that oil out of the bottom of the jenny. Easy peasy, the drain cap. Okay, next I'm gonna use my super strong grip and I'm gonna remove the oil filter. All right, and I have paper towels underneath it to catch anything remaining there. Okay, and we'll just put that right there for now. All right, let the, let, let the power of the of these absorbent paper towels absorb that. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to, you're gonna push, point that down there, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna watch some of the oil come out of there. All right, so that's basically about all the oil out of it. Let's just grab this and carefully put that there, and uh, we'll dispose of this accordingly. Uh, we'll. We'll get a rag out of the box that the maintenance kit comes with. We'll wipe this up and let's uh, put the new oil filter on. All right, put a little oil on the gasket on top of the oil filter. We're going to tighten that up and then we're going to refill it with oil. Give us a little funnel, a little paper funnel that conveniently, conveniently fits in there just about perfectly. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna plug up our drain and then we're gonna add about a quart and, a, and a three quarters of new motor oil. I'm using uh, synthetic uh, 5W30. Um, I was told to use this by, Gener by Generac at a training class about eh, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, it's based on climate. We're a little bit colder here in the uh, in the winter months, so they prefer us using 5W30. So, Peter's gonna hold that right there, and we're gonna add roughly about a quart. Not too fast, not too slow though. You know, we don't we don't have the joy of a, an, an, an abundant amount of time right now, I was looking for the right word. <laughs> but we're just gonna add about a quart, and then we're gonna check it with the dipstick. Wipe the dipstick. We're gonna reinsert her. Pick her back up, and we have uh, just about right, right in the middle of between add and full. So I think we're good right there. I'm gonna put that back in, and next we're gonna change the spark plugs. So we have two spark plugs: one in the front and one in the back, right there, right here. See that? So Peter's got a socket set. This is the five eighths socket, and just like working on a on a small engine or a mini bike, right? A Miata. Or a Miata, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you got some uh, small engine or you know small car uh, abilities and experience, um, then this is an easy, easy weekend project. It'll take you about an hour, real easy. Okay. Uh, good thing with the Generac uh, spark plugs is they come pre-gapped. So there's no need to putz around with the gapping of the uh, spark plugs. So there is the existing spark plug. Kind of hard to see right there, but she's uh, kind of worn. And here is the new one. Very nice and clean. I guess we can always clean that, but they get they give you new spark plugs with the uh, the Generac maintenance kit, so yeah. might as well use it. So I'm going to put the new spark plug in there and uh, tighten that up. All right, the front spark plug is now secure. Perfect. And before we forget, we're gonna put that back on. All right, and now we're gonna do the one in the back. Okay, so we replaced both spark plugs. We uh, flushed out the oil, new oil filter. We made note of the battery condition. Uh, we're gonna recommend that be replaced uh, sooner rather than later. Um, we don't stock everything on the trucks. And let's give it a manual run and see what happens. And there she is. We're gonna 
check the oil one more time now that it ran. Let's wipe the dipstick off, reinsert her. Let's check it out, and you can see we are good. Hard to see in there, right there, but we've got a good oil level. I'm gonna reinsert that, and um, Peter went and got the Milwaukee M18 uh, compact blower. We're gonna, just gonna give this thing a good little clean. All right, just using the blower to blow out all the dust from the back and inside the unit. Not necessary, but I like to give added value on our maintenance calls for Jenny's. Very nice, perfect. All right, so we just gave a light cleaning with some uh, spray nine. And uh, last thing but not least, back into the automatic position. And uh, we are good to go.